Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP. Today, I'm going to pick up off or pick up where I left off on my little chat book I wrote a long time ago that I renamed uh, "Short Pieces to Light a Fire By." When interrupted by the parade of the world, never lose sight of your own escapades. Staggeringly hung sun, smoldering your incandescence in endless angles, I reach to you like the understanding of age-old perceptions. Anoint the mentality with strength, firmness, and always in a productive manner. What trapping catacombs of despair could lurk, lurk, could lurk around every corner of thought once you acknowledge and eliminate the negativity of thought? you cease to see the endless voids of catastrophe. What trapping catacombs of despair could lurk around every corner of thought? Once you acknowledge and eliminate the negativity of thought, you cease to see the endless voids of catastrophe. I like to think on that one. Creep. Around the entities. The frillful wanton desires of my Buddha. Scolded grandeur. In the, sleek, in the sleekness of carry. It continues to carry. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I meant by that one. <laughs> I wrote this when I was like 24. Oh, man. Okay. Or 23, I can't remember. Shine the silly fool in all the graces of positive mania. Oh, shaky, slippery need. I situate myself rapidly in your sun. A lot of sun references in this. I was super into the sun at this point. <laughs> I guess. I'll read that one again. That one kind of made me think a little. I haven't read these in a while. Shine the silly fool in all his graces of positive mania. Oh, shaky, slippery need. I situate myself rapidly in your sun. <laughs> you know, I really wish poetry was more of a popular thing. It, it You're breaking my fucking heart, asswipe. <laughs> I'm always busting out with movie lines and, and song lyrics. That one was from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> Which is another one of my favorite films. Uh, yeah, man, it's... I gotta be honest, I'm a little discouraged today. I've been having some dark nights of the soul. If you will. Maybe it's the whole Venus and retrograde shit. I'm, I have to keep expecting my fucking long lost poison twin flame to show up at my doorstep wanting to make amends it's got me kind of got me kind of worked up I don't know maybe it's just a misguided meditation I don't know that's what's in the cards though we'll see it's got me kind of shook gotta be honest anyway that's the unrequited one I'm talking about. I got this feeling, and the card readers are saying, "Oh, your ex is going to return and seek uh, seek to make amends and whatever." Got me kind of shook. I don't. Know. I don't think it's going to happen though. It's just her life situation, my life situation. We haven't. I haven't talked to her in ten fucking years. I still have fucking anxiety dreams about her to this day. Well, I haven't had one in a few months, actually. 
Mm. Anyway, I'm rambling about my personal shit I'm going through right now. But... In terms of poetry, you know, it's it's disheartening when you're a real poet, you know, like when you, when you didn't just like, this isn't just like some kick or some fad, right? I started writing when I was 16 years old. I read tons of poetry, went to college. I literally got more poetry than most poets accumulate in a lifetime already. Now, not all of it's so very good. But I have a lot of faith in a lot of it. I stand by a lot of it. And I'm proud of it. And I don't even believe in pride. I, I think pride is a poison. Pride's for weak-minded people. But I'm happy with my work. The only real... Worry I have is um, that no one will appreciate it. Now, I've often considered that, you know, maybe it'll be appreciated after I'm gone, you know, and, and if that would be the case, uh, hey, that's fine. I don't care. I'm good anyway. But, like, when I, uh, my deepest fear is, is that this was all for nothing and uh, and it won't really reach anybody. I don't know. Even if it doesn't, it helped me get through my life. And I am a much better man for it. So I guess the conclusion I'm trying to make out of this whole little conversation at the end of this is don't let your flame die. Don't let your passion die. Even if it's just a spark or two rumbling around the embers of a popping dead campfire. Don't ever let it go out. Cause hope springs eternal from that. At least that's been my experience. So I, I guess I just got tired of feeling like I had so much to share, but A lot of introspection for me today. Anyway, I'll quit rambling now. Thanks for joining me. Catch you later.